Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Dishwashers are especially dangerous being a mix of electricity and water, so don't touch anything unless you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, this is a newer GE. It's got a lot of different, uh, different safeties on it. It's got a built-in GFI. Um, and a couple other things we'll get into here. The dishwasher not draining, and an odd one. It's got an extra piece that goes down into the sump. So. This one's a new uh, GE dishwasher. I uh, still haven't figured out exactly how to remove this spray arm. I'll probably put that on another video once I figure it out. Uh, but on this one, that wasn't the problem. It was spraying water through the spray arm, so I knew I, I didn't really need to remove that. I just needed to, to check it. So more to come on that, and definitely going to be going more into these dishwashers in the future. Each dishwasher has its own particular little tricks, and uh, you just don't want to force anything. You can break something if you force it. So. Let's see. Fuel bin impeller. And the pump. It's got a little blade. On the deal, I can't see anything. And then the pump impeller right here. I'm going to try running this one without the plate. Let's see if I can get it to Should be now it's disconnected from the process. I guess the drain. Something's not draining. And the hose line's clear, I took it apart. I definitely don't like how somebody wired this. I'm gonna need to rewire that. That's just horrible. It's supposed to be inside the junction box that the connections are made. Somebody was too lazy to put that the correct way so I'll have to fix that up but I need to fix the machine first figure it out here it's in the drain cycle it, and you can see the solenoid release once the power is uh, turned off sure open in the door in the fill cycle it's way too cool without the, the pump on this one Definitely pumping water, no problem pumping water. It's all in the drain. So. It goes to the drain, the solenoid pulls down. Good. It's 
the black box on top that said GFI is installed on these newer dishwashers. Here I'm pulling a vacuum on the drain line. It does pull a little bit of water through, reverse it to a blower, and the line is clear. Checking the float switch. You hear the switch clicks, it engages. When it floats up, it clicks. Everything's fine there. So the question was, what's going on? So I had options at this point. You know, lots of people reach this point. Do you hire someone else to come in to fix it? Uh, my thought is, if you did hire someone else, learn as much as you can. As you can see, it still wouldn't drain here. Uh, you always want to learn whatever you can. But the problems that happen, that you have happen, they're going to repeat themselves. The problems that be are the problems that will continue to be. They'll happen somewhere else. So I was determined to figure this thing out. So uh, looking back here at the drain line, uh, the uh, the pump assembly, trying to figure it out. Um, but this one I needed to pull out and take out and look at it better. And uh, one thing I should have done is uh, flip it on its back. Instead of its side, that would minimize the water that spilled out, a little bit of water, but I was able to clean it up, not a big deal. Anyway, what I found here is this little ball looked like a gobstopper. So I went ahead and pulled that out. It, it did seem like a part here, the solenoid engages and, and uh, opens the channel. That's where the little uh, disposal blade is. It's kind of got a little blade in there that helps uh, grind up stuff or a little a tiny bit of stuff and uh, so everything was clear there and passing through but it was that little ball a little little uh, deal I think it's some sort of a check valve but I think it's kind of an extra deal that passes in on the drain hose assembly that passes into the sump and uh, so I pulled that ball out and there was a tiny little ridge on the ball. Uh, so I went ahead and, and tried running it without that ball in there, putting it back together without the ball. And um, that's actually what fixed it, and everything worked just fine. Now I think the ball is kind of like a check valve. Uh, so I may eventually, I, I saved the ball, I may eventually go back and, and uh, re reset it. Um, still mulling over, um, but I, but I believe that it's like a secondary check valve, kind of like an air gap. It doesn't let stuff come back down into the dishwasher, and I believe that ball is an extra uh, check for that. I already have an air gap, so there's no way that the water can come back down into the machine. So I think it's just an extra, kind of like the GFI is an extra on the machine. So uh, everything worked good once I hooked it back up and then it went to drain and everything's good but I'm positive that many people have replaced pumps or whole dishwashers for this very issue same with the GFI issue I'm sure that people have, have replaced whole dishwashers when it was just a, tri a trip GFI you know but also called out service text and everything else so anyway this one put it all back together ran it through the drain line and proved it out everything drains good now I believe so somehow that that check valve was pulling up into the wrong area and blocking it off. So I may eventually go back and put it back in there and uh, see if I can get it to work better. It's possible that the that uh, assembly uh, pulled out a little bit and so let the ball go into a section it's not really supposed to go into. Uh, I'll have to research that a bit more, but I thought I'd show you uh, what I found and a little bit on the process of troubleshooting and just kind of go into the, the, the whole thought process a little bit more. Anyway, thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance over now. More to come on this particular uh, dishwasher and particular situation. And this may very well turn out to be a recurring issue with this particular dishwasher, so I was very glad to have figured this out for this model dishwasher. And uh, we'll see how it goes down the road. Links to the parts are in the description below. A 
quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are, you should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs. A young man stands on the side of the road, good book in his hand. Somehow knows what he reads is the truth, but he didn't quite understand. Then one day he met a man who showed him the way. He said, do you see that light? Strapped to it to in at the gate. Christian staggers down on the road, there's a burden on his back. He's put his hand on to the plow, now there's no turning back. His friends and his family cried after it's him, but he's just the truth. He's Christ's Christ life, eternal life, as he roams towards the light. Well, it ain't no easy road. This pilgrim's passing through And I know there will be dangers And that people will persecute But the city that I'm seeking Is much better than where I'm from Cause I was born in the city of destruction Well, Christian made about a mile to be for two men they overtook him. One of their names was obstinate, the other was pliable. And they said on the Christian, you just can't, can't get up and leave your friends and family behind. Christian said, I was born in the city of destruction. And if I died there, I fear this burden on my back would sink me to hell. Where did you hear such nonsense, replied Opson. I read about it in my Bible and I know what I read was true. So I said I hold on this pilgrimage, I'm just seeking the city of my king. If what this man says is true, the things he stands to gain are better than ours, said Pliable. I mean to go with this good man. I will not be a part of such misled fantasies, said Oxenor. And he went back to the city of destruction. But Christian and Pavel walked on and on, talking about the way things would be when they get to the kingdom of heaven. And they were so excited to have some good company, they forgot to watch where they were stepping to. They walked into a mire that was called the Slough of Despawn. And that bird in old Christian's back began to make him sink as he fought and he thrashed for the other side. The Bible turned back to the way it had come from. He said, Is this the bliss you spoke of, Christian? We have met such danger just barely setting out on our journey. What can possibly be ahead? And he left Christian there to sink. Jesus. 
Jesus, my Lord, he's the door. He is the way out. The truth and the life, yeah. The Christian continues on his journey, and he walked and he walked some more. And up ahead in the distance, he saw a man crossing the field over towards the path where he was going. And this man was dressed in really nice clothes. He said, Hey there, pilgrim. Where are you going? Why do you look so way down? He said, I was born in the city of destruction and I'm going to go all the way to the city. I know a man that lives just up over that hill there named Legality. He has a son named Civility and they live in a town called Morality. They can get that burden off your back for you. By the way, how did you get that burden on your back? I read in my bottle that a oh, hot thought so. It's happened to other weak men meddling in things too high for themselves. Go to this good man's house. I tell you, he can get that burden off your back for you. Well, Christian pondered what the man was saying and the way it did sound easy. How do I get to this good man's house? It's just up over the hill there, second house on the left. The Christian, he was persuaded to walk off the path and he headed up towards that hill. And as he got there, he saw that it was actually a mountain and that it was burning and it was on fire and it looked like he was going to fall on it. He began to get scared, realizing he had done foolishly walking off the path. This mountain represented the law. An evangelist came up to him and said, Christian, Christian, what have you done? You've begun to forsake the counsel of the Most High God. Oh 
slowly steps inside, Goodwill yanks him in. Why did you pull me in, question Christian? I did it because the enemy shoots arrows at those that would escape, at those that would enter in at the gate. Now I instruct you to go down to the house of the interpreter and listen to the things he has to share with you, for he shall show and teach you excellent things. 